Eyes Were Watching God, a la Schmoop. My name is Janie Crawford. And if you hear anybody else talking about a Janie Crawford, oh my gosh, gosh, there she is. You can tell them to keep on flapping their big yappers. Because there ain't nobody who ain't me that know what I've been through. If you listen to my story, you might learn a thing or two about the real Janie Crawford. From the time I was a young woman till now, I've changed a lot. And each time my heart had something to do with it. You could say that I was changed by the men I loved or didn't love. But I tell you that it was me doing the changing. And those men. Well, I'd say they were just lessons I learned about who to listen to and who to tell to shove off. True love. Ever since I was a young woman, I wanted it. Back then, I was seduced by the beauty of a pear tree in full blossom. A bee pollinating its flowers. Subtle metaphor alert. And then this boy from my class came walking over, and in the glow of the pear tree, he changed. And so did I, on account of my heart had never made executive decisions over my brain before. I guess my heart was always been a go-getter. Oh no, you didn't. My nanny was not pleased, even when I explained that it was the pear tree and the bees pollinating true love and stuff. Aw, oh, heck no. So my nanny did what any sensible woman does when she sees her granddaughter kissing a boy for the first time. She married me off to some old geezer who could never make me feel like that pear tree in bloom. Bingo! Needless to say, Mr. Killix was not my type. Bring me my prune juice now! I mean, I'm all for a reliable man, nanny, but not a man I can rely on to threaten to kill me when I disobey him. Where the heck is it? So I took to standing outside our house, gazing off into the distance and wishing for something else. And I wished so hard that I made a man appear. Yellow. Uh, Well, I mean, he was walking down the road whether I liked it or not, but I like to think that my heart was trying to get what it wanted again. Since me and my long flowing locks did convince him to take me along and make me Mrs. Joe Starks. Joe is very persuasive himself. He made himself the first mayor of the first all-black city in America, Eatonville, Florida. Surprise! But then that fool tried to persuade me to be nothing but a common slave to him. You love it, right? He made fun of me in front of everybody. You should hear this lady snore. All I can say is, wow. And this little heart of mine was not having it. Then I gave him a piece of my mind back, and he got so insulted that he up and died. Look, I felt bad about it and all, but I ain't gonna pretend it wasn't awfully convenient. (laughs) After Joe died, I did just fine on my own thank you. No one to tell me what to do or what to wear. Nobody to kiss me under a blooming pear tree. But then this young guy named Tea Cake, that's right, Tea Cake, came by and started bothering me at my store. Then my house annoyed me silly. And he annoyed me right smack dab into loving him. Aww. We left Eatonville straight for rip roaring true love adventures. The Eiffel Tower, the Italian Riviera. Well, okay, from Eatonville to working on a field in the Everglades. But hey, I ain't never been happier. That muck was my own personal pear tree in bloom. Now, falling in love is a whirlwind and all, but you ain't expecting no literal hurricanes. The tea cake and I had a real whirlwind. My heart learned a few things. Love ain't just a pear tree. Love is saving your partner from a rabid dog in a hurricane and getting bit yourself. Love is becoming vicious and aggressive because you contracted rabies until you have to get shot by the loved one you saved. Well, this is unfortunate. Love is a million memories which shape who you are today. Can't no gossipy old hens ruin that. Whether they think I'm a biddy or an angel, I'm just me. And my heart will do what it wants. Oh, yeah. Mmm, tasty. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.